Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, you a real one. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. So this video would just be me showing you how I edit my thumbnails. These are the apps you will be using. You will be using the Fonto app. You will be using Face. I said face, I was about to say Facebook. Facetune. And yeah, so go ahead and open up Facetune. I already defocused, but I'm just gonna show you for video purposes. Um, Facetune does have a, all these options, but girl, we just about to defocus. That's really what I use Facetune for. So you're gonna go ahead and click on auto and you do see the difference. I feel like it looks bomb when you defocus just because the focus should be on you, not your dog in the background. That's not, no. So go ahead and save and that's all. Go to the Fonto app, click on the camera icon at the bottom. Go ahead and click plain image. You're gonna go ahead and click on whichever one and go ahead and click on 1248 by 1248 at the top custom and it's going to be 1280 by 720 and go ahead and screenshot screenshot this because this is literally um the exact measurements you will be using every single time so go ahead and use and you're gonna go ahead and add that image you defocused and size it up to your liking. And always remember that whatever is in the inside of the box, not the outside, inside is what's going to be on your thumbnail. So you position the photo however you would like. So, so I'm gonna do 210 and just position it. Go ahead and add image. You can always add a different image. I'm just going to add the same image because that's the look I'm going for. So make sure it's the same size. You can always do different sizes, but again, that's a, this is the look I'm going for. So the size is 210. You want to make sure that it's the same size. Okay. You want them to be twins, not sisters. So, yeah. Just be very precise with it. So go ahead and save, and you wanna see how it, it's looking like. So go to your camera roll, and to me it looks good. So go ahead and go back to the Fonto app. Stupid ads, move. And you click on reset. So you're gonna go again and click on the um, photo icon at the bottom. Click on one photo album and you add that. So now this is the fun part. It's time to be creative and add your text. So you're gonna add text, how to edit thumbnail on iPhone, okay? And then, see, that's so boring. Like who's gonna click on that? Nobody. So you gotta, uh, like I said, be creative and pick a color, you know, change the text up. So I'm gonna put yellow with, let's see. Let's do orange. And the stroke is what makes it pop in, you see? So. Then you just size it up, position it. There's so many options, you can tilt it, you know, move it. So boom, but I think I'm gonna just, you know, keep it regular, keep it up here, and just you know, keep it simp, 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 okay? So you can add symbols, you know, add symbols. I'm not gonna add it, I'm just showing you guys. I don't really do that. So, yeah. Go ahead and save. And we will be opening up the Snapchat app. 
okay and click on edit and you know you can add stickers emojis whatever you like since we're using iphone go ahead and click on you can pick your color i think i'm gonna go with yellow and just literally it you know play around with it save go back to your images so this is a this is the original image this is defocused this is together before you um, did it and you know this is how to edit thumbnail on iPhone and boom how to edit your thumbnail and you got a popping thumbnail so if you guys enjoy videos like this and you guys would like basically to see how i edit you know certain stuff then go ahead and comment below like subscribe all that and eat it out